Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the gym management system using Java and MySQL. Uh, I already opened the NetBeans ID. Now I am going to go to the file, new project. Here I am going to select the Java, Java application. Click next. Here if it is check create main classes, I am going to uncheck it here. Here I am going to give the project name as Jib Management. Management. Click finish. Now your project has been created successfully with the name of gym management. Your project folder consists of two major folders, source package and libraries. Now here, uh, source package folder. First we are go to the source package here. Uh, select the default package, right click, new, Java package. I am going to create the new package as here as gym click finish now your new package has been created successfully with the name of gmy now here select the package right click new j frame form here i am going to give the class name as uh, this first uh, first one i am going to design the form as login login form click finish right this is the first form right as a login now here le let's increase the size of the form little bit here uh, first what i'm going to do is here go to the palette drag one panel on the palette uh, this one select this one right click properties background color i'm going to choose as, choose here as uh, blue this blue we are going to uh, choose right after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to drag over one label here I click edit this one I am going to name it as gym management system right after the select this one right click properties uh, you have to font you have to change it as with bold 18 click ok uh, if you want to increase the size little bit, you have to increase as 20. 20, click OK. Right, perfect. Right, now what I am going to do is select this one here. Uh, right click, properties. We have to change the font color, uh, foreground color as. Uh, we have to change it as white, white or blue, uh, you, uh, yellow. Click OK. Here it's successful. Right, very simple one. We have to like this. Right, perfect. Now what I am going to do is here. Here I am going to do the login, right? So here, simply uh, drag one another panel here. Right. Here I am going to select this panel. Uh, panel. Right click properties. Here border. You have select as this one. Soft bevel border. Click OK. Right. Now here, what I am going to do is here. Uh, first, I am going to drag two labels. Right. This one should be username. This 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 should be password. Right. Drag two text boxes. Two buttons. I need two red card buttons right. this one should be uh, login this one should be select this one edit text cancel right. select this one this field right click edit text backspace to remove the one Select this one, right click, edit text, backspace to remove the one. Select this one, right click, change variable, txt, u name. Select this one, change variable, txt, pass. Right. So here, I have missed one thing. Instead of the normal text box, we have to remove this one. We have to make it as a password text field. Right. Here, this one is the password text field. You have to put it here. Then only we will be able to type the password. 
right here okay this one here you have to edit text backspace remove the extension text select again you have to change the text as txt pass right this is the thing we have to right now we successfully designed the login form now uh, when the form is run it should be run at the center so how to set is uh, select the form uh, right click properties code generate center right we have to do this option generate center close it now click run okay your project is running here here you can see the see here the output gym uh, here it's running here it's working perfectly at the center it's working perfectly right here it's working perfectly or oh, you are nothing do i didn't code anything else now i what i'm going to do is here here i'm first i'm going to code the things first select the login uh, button right click uh, event action action perform here we have to write here is uh, we have to write here simply you have to write first we have to write a string variable string u name u name equal txt u name dot get text right second one string pass equal txt pass dot get text that's only if u name dot equals uh, here right here is uh, username i am going to give as admin uh, and password i am going to give as here write this password this password this password what is the text box uh, this is the text box txt name what you are type on this txt name text box it assigned to the variable this what is the password you are typing assigned to the power here right this way you are get the this variable dot equal if it is equal like this equal password 123 press 123 now you will be able to log in it's successfully visit in the main form right so main form i haven't designed yet so what i am going to select this gym uh, your package right click new form this one should be the main click finish right so now here what i am going to go to source so right main m equal new main after that you have write this dot hide if the login successfully transform should die after that you have to uh, m dot set pc about true to make it as set pc about true right after that you have to write else part if the username or password error you have to show the message box the option pan dot show message dialog you have to write here this you have to write here is user name or password do not match you have to show there like this this is the thing you have to do right simple you have to do this uh, this things right now let's run the project and check whether it's working fine or not here use the name or password right okay this is the thing you have to write uh, if you want to check the empty now here we have to write here is uh we have to write here empty we have to check so here we write here same thing you have to control c to copy here this one control v to paste here this one you have to write here is you have to simply write is empty right here's password also is empty for is empty you have to the same g option pen this one control c to copy this message box control v to paste here you have to change as uh username and pass username or password do not blank right simple right very simple function is empty right this very simple function here now this one should be else if otherwise 
it goes to check the username and password correct right okay now here you can check here username and password do not blank here username and password do not match right now here right if you enter the correct username and password uh, admin you write admin one two three click login it's goes the main form successful right perfect right it's working perfectly right now let's go to the main form here this is the main form right now here what i'm going to do is here we simply we have designed two stuff uh, here we have right uh, we have to this one panel tag one panel we simply have to write like this this one should be right click properties uh, background color this one background color you have to change this one as here right now this one we have we have to put the heading here as uh, label this is a main gym management main right gym right gym management this one should be the main part management management main check this one properties font with bold 18 click ok foreground color here change it as a this one yellow click ok right perfect now here we have we need a buttons we need a button so this one here we have to we have to put one panel type one panel here right click properties border we have to select as this one soft bevel border this one click ok right now here we have to drag the uh, buttons this one should be trainer add trainer this one should be trainer uh, we have to add the trainer here you will be able to add the trainer here so uh, we have to add here as add trainer After we, we, we have to drag another button. This one should be uh, member, add member. Right. First we have to do the, these two stuff. First I am going to do the thing as add trainer. So uh, I am going to go to my uh, package, right click, new, add the new form. Here I am going to add the trainer. This one should be I am going to add as trainer. This form trainer. Right. Click finish. Okay. Now here what I am going to do is here first time I am going to add the trainer page. So here first time I am going to drag one panel here. Select this one. Properties. Background. Now here what I am going to do, drag one label here. This one should be here, we have right here as trainer. The trainer part. So right click, properties, font, bold, 18, right. You have to increase the font a little bit bigger. Select this one, foreground color, yellow. Right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag another panel here. Right. Here first what I'm going to see, we have to write here this, this panel, uh, properties, uh, we have to write border property this one okay perfect now here drag one uh, labels here this one should be trainer name 
second one uh, is what third fourth right five labels we let's create only five five labels right. perfect right okay. now here first what i'm going to see here what right here is uh, this one should be the uh, trainer name right second one should be the uh, age trainer age after that uh, yeah, here after that here are we are type uh, address after that mobile number date of join right date of join this other required field build right okay. now we need a relevant text box fields so uh, now here we have go to the palette drag the text or field here right first one control c to copy control v to paste here get second one control c to copy control v to paste here third one control c to copy control v to paste here fourth control c to copy uh, here date of join what i'm going to do simply we have to drag the this one date chooser to date chooser you have to drag here okay uh, date chooser it is not uh, coming uh, default one in in the NetBeans. You have to go to the, the Google and you have to download it, right? You have to go to that Google and download here. Okay, then only you can get it. Okay, go to that Google, and here you have to write uh, date picker, picker jar, jar file. If you can get it here, right? You can download it here. Okay. It's very easy stuff. You will be able to download date picker, right? Okay. Uh, otherwise, you can do simple. Uh, uh, not uh, you have simply you have to write J calendar jar here. Click on this link. You have to go and download here. Okay. You have to type J calendar. Okay. You will uh, you can get all the things. Okay. Here all the libraries available. If you type J calendar, right? Here there will be the jar. Here you click on this one and you have to download it. Right? Very simple one right j calendar you have to type on j calendar okay if you uh, uh, type on j calendar jar you will complete plugin you will be able to download right that's the stuff you have to get it like this right first what uh, we are going to add the records into the database so what i'm going to do first we have to uh, drag one button here this one should be add right. this one should be the add button right perfect okay now what first what i'm going to do is here uh, select this uh, first time I'm going to name this text box fields select this one edit text backspace remove the exist text here okay, change variable txt trainer select this one edit text control the uh, backspace remove this one this one txt h select this one edit text backspace remove Select this one. Txt address. Select this one. Edit text. Backspace remove. This one. Txt mobile. Select this one. Change variable. Txt uh, date of join. D O J date of join. Right. Perfect. Okay. We successfully named the text box successfully. Now let me see how to add the records into the database. Uh, before that, <coughs> we have to download the libraries, right? MySQL libraries we have to download here, right? MySQL libraries we have to download. How to download MySQL libraries here? Okay, go here. We have to add the uh, MySQL connection to the database. We have to add the jar, MySQL jar. So we have to down go to the Google and type MySQL connect uh, MySQL connector for Java. You type MySQL connector for Java. You will be able to get the first link. Click on this link. This goes to the relevant website for download the jar files. Here there is a second link, right? Platform independent ship this one, right? Here done here MySQL connector Java ship. This is the thing you have to download. That 
in order to connect mysql connect uh, mysql connect with uh, java right click download if you click this button download this goes to a different link for downloaded here you don't need to log in or sign up you just click on the below link uh, no thanks just start my download if you click this one your download has been started here it will be started here right here it is started uh, this time i have no uh, no need to download this one because i already downloaded so i am going to cancel it uh, after downloaded this come as a zip file you have to extract that one here after that you have to get the zip file here mysql okay. this mysql connector java is okay. it's coming like as a zip file look like this after you extract that it's come as a normal one here is come as a normal one like this right this is two be a jar files we have to add it right so what i'm going to do is select the library right click add jar folder here you have to browse where browse that one right if i see i have a e for e this e directly here my sql chart this one these two things or on the control key down and down and you have select both open it right. it successfully added the library successfully here it's added successfully so perfect now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to go to uh, add the list now what i'm going to do is here go here uh, select this add button right click event action action perform first what i'm going to do is this is the trainer.java page first i'm going to add the database connection first right so here first uh, time that we have right here is uh, connection con so we have to add the import for java sql connection add the namespace here after that we have added a second one should be prepare statement Right, perfect. After that, what I'm going to do is here, we have to add the oh, right. So the first we have to <coughs> these text boxes we have to assign to the relevant variables. So we have to write first one string tree name, tree name mean trainer name, t name equal. We have to write t x t trainer. Dot get text second one should be string age txt age dot get text after that address mobile right after that you have same thing control see copy control v is paste here this one should be address txt address after that this control c copy control v to paste here this one mobile txt mobile control c copy control v to paste here final one should be this one the date of chart so you have to write simply you have to write here is uh, simple the date format you have to write simple date format I create the object as df equal new simple date format this one control c to copy control v to paste here here you have to write the format here Y Y Y M M D D D the format you have got. Okay, simple, right? So have to add the namespace, right? After that, we have right here is a string date equal D F dot format. You have right T X T date T X T D 
of dot get it doj sorry doj dot get date get date put it like this perfect okay this is how you have to get the date right this is the format right it's this way right okay this is the, this is the variable right okay you have set it like this after that we have to write the query okay so here first what i am going to do is here we have to add the separate connection here so we have to write public wide connect we have to create the uh, method connect here we have to write simply we have to first register the driver so class uh, we have to write the register driver class for name sorry class dot for name here we have right here is register driver com dot uh, mysql dot jdbc dot driver right. first you have to add the this one try try catch so, okay after that you have to write second one should be there uh, you have to write here second one should be the con driver manager Dot. Now I'm going to going to create the database. So let's go to the uh, go here. I already installed the SAM server in my machine. Uh, I'm going to uh, type localhost. It go to the SAM server uh, dashboard. Here click PHP my admin. Here I'm going to create the new database. Jim management right gym management right just create as gym management right. okay you can give any name i just give as gym management right gym management create after that i am going to create the table uh, the table is these are the fields we have to include uh, five fields we are there so we have to create here as five fields this one should be trainer click off so first one should be the id trainer id primary with auto incremented second one should be uh, trainer name name watcher after that age address age or the address after that mobile All right. these are the fields we have to save we have to add another one field i forgot it so after the mobile click go we have to, we need to add another thing is d o date of join d o j mean date of join you have to write watcher this is a watcher right. these are the fields right this is the structure okay now we have to give the uh, path for for database so what i'm going to do is here uh, go to the source this here we have type uh, simply you have type jdbc jdbc colon uh, mysql mysql colon you have got localhost You have to write here. You have to specify the database name here correctly. This is the name. Okay, we have to copy this name. Paste it here. Simple. Right? You have to write like this. Okay. Username is username. What is the username of the Xam uh, server? Default username is when you install the Xam server. Uh, default username is root. Password is blank. You have to set like this. You have to set like this. Perfect. Okay, we have to add the catch block. Right, this is the thing we have created. This connection method control C copy. Control we have to paste it inside this component. When the form is loaded, this connection connect method should be loaded. Right? This is the thing first you have to do. Right? After that, what I'm going to do is here, we have to write like this uh, uh, here, we have to come here. 
inside the button we have to write here we already established the database connection we have to write the prepare statement so we have to write tst equal connection con dot prepare statement here we have to write insert into insert into which table you are going to add the record trainer table so you i am going to control c to copy this trainer table control c to paste here name here you write here is you have to specify the column name here right first column we no need to specify because this is a auto incremented after the second one should be the name comma age comma address comma mobile these are the fields finally here d d o j date of chart these are the fields relevant right okay after that we have right after that we have right here sir uh, values so try the question mark here we need uh, five question marks so we have 1 2 3 4 5 this is it here Okay. You have to add the try catch block here. After that, what I am going to do is here we have to write here the PST dot set string one. You have to do this one. Control C to copy this name, right? Okay. Second one, Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Second one should be this one. H, control C, to copy, control V, to paste here. Third one should be address. Control C, to copy, control V, to paste here. Fourth one should be mobile. Fifth one should be this one. Date, control C, to copy, control V, to paste here. So these are things we have got. Okay, we have set that uh, set uh, set here like this. It's prepare statement. It goes to this question mark for add the records into the database, right? Okay, this is the uh, this is the variables, right? We have this all the text box field assigned to this relevant variables. We are passing here to add the records into the database. Finally, we have to call this one as the PST dot execute uh, execute update. We have to call it execute update. So we have to write here this one execute update. That got added into the database, right? After that, we we have to get the message J. So we have to write J option pan dot show message dialog this we have right here is record adder uh, uh, we have right trainer adder right this is things we have right after that we have after add the record we have to clear all the stuff so we have to control c to copy this text box right uh, we have right here is Set X, set X. Clear. You are right. Clear like this. So you have to control C, copy, control V to paste here. Right. Second one, this one. H, control C, copy, control V to paste here. Third one, this one. Control C, copy, control V to paste here. Fourth, control C, copy, control V to paste here. Right. Okay. After all the stuff I added, uh, we have to. The cursor should be focused on control C, copy, control V to paste here. TXT trainer text box. It just focus. Let's call the message. It just focus. This is thing we are doing, right? Okay, let me check whether it's working fine or not, right? Okay. Uh, first, we have to make the link here. Select this one. We have to code generate center the main panel. After that, we have to make the link here. Right click, event action, action perform. If you click the button, what happens is it goes to the relevant pa uh, page. So train it. Trainer, a trainer. Uh, you have T. Create the object T equal new trainer. Right. Now here we have set as T dot set visible. True. You have to make it as set visible. True. Right. Now 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 let's check whether whether it is working fine or not. Right. Here we have type uh, admin. 1, 2, 3, if it is success, username and password, click login, it goes to the main panel, like look like this, if you click add trainer button, it goes to the trainer, so here we have to do the another thing is here, trainer, 
page also we have to set as a center select this one uh, properties code secondary center okay, okay. now let's check Okay, now here I'm going to add the trainer, right? So the trainer I'm going to add the name as John, age uh, 34, address uh, India, uh, main street, main street, I just give us main street, India. India. Mobile number something, I just give the selected date, tough join today date we have selected, click add button, trainer add. So if you click this, all the stuff are clear, right? Now you now you go to the database, you can check browse. It's added successfully, right? That code is added successfully. Uh, in my next tutorial, I'll be explain how to view the records from the database here, right? I, I'm going to put the J table and I'm going to view the data uh, data from the database, right? Uh, I hope you guys you understood the things well. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching. Hi guys, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today is a part 2 tutorial of gym management system. Uh, in, this, uh, in our last class, we designed the trainer page here. Uh, we saw how to add the records. In this class, I am going to teach how to view the records from the database. Uh, here I am going to little bit, we have to increase the size of the form. We have to drag one J table over here. Uh, go to the palette drag one j table here, this one right here drag like this right perfect now here what i'm going to do is here select this table uh, we have to table we have to write here table contents we have to select this one table contents here we have to default rows we have to delete them select and delete right here we have to write the columns first one should be the uh, trainer id ID, we have to write this one to the ID. Second one should be the trainer name. How does that age? Address. How does that mobile? How does the date of child? D O J. You have to simple write date of the date. You have to write date. Right. Okay. That's the thing you have to do. Right. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is here. Go to the source. We have to write the code for that. Display the records from the database. So here, here I'm going to write here is write here as public wide table load. Here I am going to write first on S, you have to write prepare second PST equal con dot prepare statement. So we have to write here is select all from this one should be the trainer. Okay, right, this is the uh, table name trainer. Control V to paste here. Uh, we have to load all the records from the database trainer, right? Here we have to at the try catch here we have right here is uh, we have created the result set object so we have a result set we have the result set rs okay. we have to add the name spaces right perfect after that what i'm going to do is here uh, we have to write a result set metadata for load the records right in the j table so result set result set uh, metadata metadata rd equal object i am created as rd here try right here as rs this rs dot get metadata get metadata right perfect right after that you have right create the variable int c right after that here this one you have to add the namespace after that, what I am going to do is here. Uh, what is the problem here? RS.
विशाल सेट मेटा डेटा किस Right here, what is the problem is here? Uh, we have to write here is PST dot execute query. We have to execute the query here. That is wrong. Right. Now it's okay. Okay, now it's working. Problem. No problem. Now here write as C dot C equal uh, RD dot get column count. Right. We have to write like this. Right. After that, we have to write that. Uh, we have to create that uh, another. Here, right here is default default table model table model table, uh, default table model here right default table model uh, df you have to write df right you have to write this okay. you have to, write, you have to imp implement this one namespace right okay. now here what I am going to do is here you have to write here is as df equal we have to write here is the same default model here this one and see the copy here we have to write the bracket inside the bracket here paste it here here you have to write j table one dot get model right after that you have to write df dot set row count zero how do we have right here is while rs dot next here we have right here is vector class vector v2 equal new vector right now here we have right here is write a for loop for int i equal 1 comma i less than or equal c i plus plus right here we have right here is v2 uh, dot at rs dot get string first column should be id you have to write like this what is the column here to figure out specify the column here id second one should be the name you have to write like this okay same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here. name age address after that age address after that mobile after that same thing control sheet copy control v to paste here doj doj right simple right this is the thing we have to do right okay now here this table you have to this function control sheet copy you have to hold it here control v to paste here right. now let's run and check i'll try that why it's not working? Mm. Select all from trainers. Right, the problem is here. I have missed one uh, line. This uh, DF, we have to write DF. We have to write this one should be the add row. We have to add add row. You have to write this one. Add row. You have to pass it this V2. Now it will be work. Right? Now if you execute the query, you can check here. That means 1, 2, 3. Click login. Trainer. Now it's working fine. Okay? This is how you have to add the trainers. Right? You will be able to check here. What are trainers available here? Okay? Very simple. Now if you want to add or edit, delete, we will be see. Okay? Now here I am going to put another button. This one should be uh, edit. How does I need to put another button? This one should be the delete button. 
After that, I need to put another button. This one should be the cancel button. Right, seal button. Okay. Now let's do. Okay. Now what I am going to do is first one. If you want to edit the record, what I am going to do is here. First, you have to select the record. So select this J table. Right click. Uh, if you have to event mouse, you have to write mouse mouse click. This one. Right, mouse mouse click. Right. Here we have to write the code. Okay. Now here we already created the this stuff. We already created the uh, default table model. Right. Now here what I am going to do is here uh, we have select this one event mouse mouse click. Here we have to write uh, we have to write here uh, simple df equal the same thing. the same thing here put here. Default table, this one, model. control C to copy, the same thing here, put it here. So right here is uh, J table one dot get model. Right. After that, what I am going to do is here, write int select selector. We have to, se uh, we have to create the variable selector. We have to write here is J table one dot get selected row right. after that what I am going to see out right here uh, when you select this row the particular record should be displayed here for update uh, for uh, uh, edit the record so how to do the task is here uh, first we have to write here is uh, we have to write here uh, uh, first we have to first we have to write here is first we have to write int id equal first we have to write this one uh, d, uh, df this df dot get value value at we have to write selected this one selected control c to copy control v to paste here comma uh, selected uh, this one should be the id so we have to set the position of ID position of you have to set as zero. Zero position is ID. Zero position is ID. Zero position dot two string. You have to write as two dot two string method. Right. Perfect. Uh, but the problem is here we have to write here is integer dot pass int. After that, what I'm going to do is here. You have to write the second one should be uh, this one. Txt name. What is the text? Txt trainer. This one. And also you copy the same thing. You have to paste it here. Dot set text. Set text. Here we have to write uh, df dot df dot uh, get value at selected this one. Selected. This one should be one dot two string. One dot two string. Dot two string. Not right. Perfect. Okay. Now here, what is the problem? Okay, the problem is here. We have to write here. Close the bracket here. Right. Okay. Now here the same thing. You have to control C to copy. You have uh, selected one mean this one. Two mean this. You have selected that. Two. This one should be there. This one. Age. Txt age. Same thing. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Address mobile. Final one should be the date of birth. So now here we have to write date. We have to write date. We have to equal. We have to write a date of, uh, date of join. Simply you have to write new. Simple date. Simple date format. So have to write like this.
डॉट पास क्या भैया ऑपराइट स्ट्रिंग पास ही ऑपराइट स्ट्रिंग क्या भैया ऑपराइट स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग भैया ऑपराइट डी दिस दिस डी एफ डी एफ डॉट डी एफ डॉट गेट वैल्यू एट गेट वैल्यू एट गेट वैल्यू एट या उसको राइट दिस वन सिलेक्टर दिस सिलेक्टर सिलेक्टेड फाइव फाइव जैसे थी वी आर टू राइट क्या आप राइट है तो यहाँ पे इंप्लीमेंट दिस वन ट्राई कैच तो दिस ट्राई कैच यू आर टू राइट कंट्रोल एक्स तो काट ऑफ दिस ट्राई यू आर टू पुट इट हियर Every time, every right, first, right, simple everything. Right. Now here we have tried the fifth one. Here we have tried here is uh, what is the text box we have to display the date. This one, this is the, this one. T X T D O J D O J T X T D O J dot set date. Right, date. This date here. Right. Okay. Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Here it's working fine. Here, date should be display successful. Right? We will be able to edit the record. Right? Record is display successfully. Now I am going to edit the record. If you click this edit button, record should be edit. Uh, so uh, another things we have to do uh, when you click on this uh, record. The add button should be disabled, right? So here, you have to the same thing you have to do here. What's the name of the add button? J button one. J button one dot set enable false. You have to false it, right? Okay. After that, what I'm going to do is here edit. We are doing the edit part. We are doing the edit part. Uh, record is displayed successfully. Now I am going to edit the record, right? Now I am going to edit the. So let me see how to do the edit part, right? So uh, select the uh, select the button. Right click, event action action transform. Now here we have to write here is uh, simply we have to write this one. Uh, get the ID and uh, right. So here simply we have to get this one. Uh, go to the J table mouse click event. I have uh, wrote these two lines. We have to copy this one. Uh, get the, this three lines we need. Okay, these three lines. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Right. We get the ID and we have to uh, we have to update the record. So the same query we have to copy. Which query? The insert query. The all the stuff we have to copy. Same all the stuff we have to copy. You no need to write again by control C to copy, control V to paste here. The this same code, the same code, right? After this, uh, get the ID and we have to update the record. So here, what I am going to do is here instead of the insert query, we have to write the update query. So we have to write update, update. Which table you are going to update the record? Trainer table. We have to update the record. Trainer, the tra 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 trainer table. This one, trainer, right? So yeah, control C to copy this one. Control V to paste here. Trainer set set which one first we have to update? Set name, age, address. So name after that comma age comma address comma Mobile DOJ, mobile, comma, DOJ equal, this one, right? This is the thing here, right? Where ID equal, this one, right? Okay. So here, what I am going to do is here. Uh, first name, this column, this name. Right, second age, the same thing. Right, address also same. 
mobile also same do is the same the sixth one should be id so control c to copy control v to paste here get this id id kind of this id same id you have to paste it here here also we have to change it this one as a int because the data repo as int okay so you have to change this here as int this one should be six get the id and update the record trainer update Right. Right. Here, what I did see here, uh, when you when you select this uh, row, the particular ID should be stored in this variable. Here, this zero item should be zero in the variable. This ID we have to get and where the ID here we have to put here and update the record. Right. So that's the thing we have to do. Uh, this other stuff are same. Uh, let's check. Admin one two three. At trainer, click on this one here. It's disabled. Now here, what I'm going to say after add the record, the uh, button should be. It should be here to disable. After edit the record, control C copy. Paste here. This one should be. After edit the record, we get the message. The button should be should become uh, set enable true, right? So here you are right. Check admin one two three. Add trainer. Click on this one here. It's make it true. If you change something else, click edit button. Trainer updated. Click OK. Here it's okay. It's fine. Okay, here it's not loaded the things. Uh, here we have to check. Here it's updated successfully. Mobile number is updated successfully. So again okay, fine. Now here what I'm going to do is here after you have to load the table then this table you have to this table here this is this code is generated automatically it's no here this one control C copy control V paste here also after add the record table should be into loaded here also table need to load it here. after I update the record okay that's the thing we have to do simple one right very simple you have to make it look like this right uh, the same thing we have to did as a delete stuff as well so here also same thing right so go to the delete so event action action so far go to the delete here also we have to set it like this the same update code you have to copy control c to copy control v to paste here here we no need this stuff on all the stuff we only need to get the id and remove the records this only needed only that id only needed right so here we need only for you have to write the delete query so delete from which table you are going to delete the record trainer table so this is the table name trainer so control c to copy this table name control v to paste here where id equal question mark right get the id and remove the record right that's the thing we have train a trainer delete it perfect right perfect stuff right okay. now let's check whether it's working fine or not admin one two three click add trainer click here if you click delete button train deleted here it's deleted no records are now for right so it's working fine now we, we have to write a cancel code only, right so here we have a simple code cancel simple here right here is simple right here this dot set visible false so try to write this like this is the thing have to do. okay it's perfect uh, after that we have to do the uh, member registration part here uh, this one right so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to create the another page so uh, let's go to the project this is our project gym management package select this one new gfa from uh, this one should be our uh, second one should be this member registration so we have to name it as member right member right okay. now here we have to increase the form size little bit here uh, this one you have to you have to give here as member registration so here simply you have to 
drag one panel here okay, next like this select this one properties background color we have to change this one in this one click ok, okay right. now you have to drag one label this one you have to member registration okay, okay select this one properties font here bold for uh, the 24 foreground color this one click ok right perfect right. Okay. now here what I am going to do is here you have to drag another panel here properties border soft bevel border click ok close it right. right now here what I am going to do here first I am going to uh, create the feature so first time what I am going to do is here uh, here we have to drag one level this one should be the first name uh, last name uh, we have to, uh, we have to uh, that is a gender after that uh, DOB date of birth you have to write here after that uh, contact number address after subscription after that the amount start date trainer name these are the fields we need right trainer name right so this simple right so we let's do the task here you arrange like this First, you have to select this label one. Edit text. This one should be the first name. First name. This one should be second. This one should be last name. This one should be uh, date of birth. D O B. Date of birth. Date of birth. Date of birth. Make a space between the letter right this one should be contact number this is your right mobile agenda after that address this one should be a uh, subscription Subs subscription Here, this one should be the amount. The start date. This field is trainer. Right, that's it. Okay. First, what I'm going to do is so we have to uh, display the text boxes. Text with this first one. Last name. After that, DOB. This one. Date chooser. Right. After that, we have to write uh, another stuff. Is a mobile. For gender, I need a combo box. For that address, here also we need a combo box. Amount, here we need uh, another date chooser. Another text field here. 
right after that we need one uh, button for add the records so uh, we have to we need one button Here we have to can add the record here. Alright, perfect. Simply you have to write like this. Right, here you have to write like this, add the edit, delete all the stuff you have to write like this here. Uh, now what I'm going to do is here, uh, we have to change the things, right? First one, edit text, backspace to remove the existing text, change it to txt, f name. Click OK, this one. Backspace so remove this one. Select txt l name. This one txt dob. This one txt mobile. This one txt gender. Now here select this one model you have to go to the model you have to select here is male female this one there is a remote access text select this one txt address select this one subscription uh, you have to, here select this one the model here we have to do the same thing. Control C to copy here, control V to paste here. Click OK. Right. Okay, it's monthly. Uh, there are you have you, have, you can choice here. Uh, monthly, one year, six month payment, right? So here this one should be the payment amount. You have to put it here. Right. So here this one should be the TXT sub. You have to change the rename here. Yeah, this one should be TXT amount. TXT amount. This one should be TXT date. This one should be backspace to remove. Select this one again. Change your TXT trainer. Right. Perfect. Now what I am going to do is here. Uh, I am going to create add the records into the database. So here select this one. Uh, now I am going to create the fields for that. Right. So let's go to the database. Now I am going to create the new table. This one should be the member table. Right. Member table. It, the member table consists of these columns. Right. So ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 columns with id 11 columns we needed right so 11 columns right first one should be the id this one should be auto incremented the membership id i make it as auto incremented second one should be first name watcher last name watcher After that, date of birth here. So you have DOB, watch up. After that, mobile, after that, gender, After that address, after that uh, sub, right, sub right, let's write sub, sub, right, subs, subscription, right, sorry, right, you have to write sort, you have to write like this, uh, we have to watch out. Amount star date trainer, right? Amount 
print date try now right now here we have to click save record is saved successfully right okay. now here it saved uh, the structure is created successfully now what i am going to do is here uh, go here we have to do the same thing so here we no need to add the uh, connection all the stuff again by again go to the training.java java here so all the stuff are there now what i am going to do is here uh, we have to get the first connection we have to get this is a connection this is all the stuff you have to connect all the stuff you have to get right connection object and all the connection uh, path all the stuff you have to control seed copy and back to my uh, member.java page you have to paste here control v to paste here. click ok it's working fine right now the same connection connect object control seed copy control v to paste here right when the form is loaded this connection function should be called right so first stuff we did successfully after that what i'm going to see we have to go back to our train.java page we have to copy this page code insert code this insert code we have to copy this insert code right so this double click on this one insert code control c to copy member.java select this one double click on this one here we have to control v to paste here click ok alright perfect right but this table load we no need at this one also stuff we have to change it as a these things we have to change it as a uh, here, this one member registration so first one should be first name so you have to first name txt you have to this one you have to remove this one you have to here you have to write like this one. first one should be first name if name this one should be txt first name right. this, so if name sorry same thing control city copy control v this is a l name txt l name this one should be dob txt dob so the same thing here to control cut this one control x to cut this this one should be dob dob txt dob This is the thing we have to write. After that, what I am going to do is this third field, this one mobile, txt mobile. So the same thing, so we have to copy this one, same thing. Can also copy, can also paste here. We now need this field, so we have to, this one should be txt mobile, this one txt mobile. Right, okay, perfect. After that, this one gender this is a combo box gender txt gender right so here we have to control c to copy control this one should be any gender right. here we have to write txt gender so this one should be not get selected item get selected item dot to string after that address the same thing control c to copy control v to so address txt address after this is this one uh, txt sub so we have to write here the same thing the same thing control c to copy sub sub so you have to write here txt what is the name of this one you can ch check there here takes this up so after the same thing can also copy can also be to here after that here this one amount also amount start date so we have to write a start date here this one also same thing same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here uh, this one should be start date yes date, yes, date. 
press 8 okay, after this one should be 1 you have to change this one as this one start it. final one should be a trainer this one here also I am going to remove this one you have to write a combo box here Here we have to load the trainer. So we have load the trainer. First we have to add the trainer here. Here we have to add the trainer name. So all the trainer name we have to load it here. This combo box, right? So what I'm going to do is here we have to select this one. Properties. Model this one. Select this one. Select all. Backspace to remove all. Click OK. Right. Keep it as black, right? We have to load here, right? So here we have to assign it after the date trainer so control c to copy control v to which is a trainer here also txt trainer this one also trainer also this this get selected and this oh, same thing control c to copy control this is a combo box right txt trainer right so okay so all the stuff are perfect what's the error txt trainer the right, TXT right now okay, perfect so problem is same thing the name is the problem so variable same thing control C to copy control V to paste here right now perfect okay. now what now what I'm going to do see I'm going to load this tray what are the trainers available you have to load here okay so here what I'm going to do is here go to the source, we have to write the simple, we have to write go to the function, we have to create the function public white load trainer. Now here what I'm going to do is here uh, we have to write the prepare statement PST uh, equal to get the already prepare statement of the table equal you have right here connection to con dot prepare statement right here we have right load the trainer so we have right select we have to duplicate the, uh, this we have, to, we have to use the keyword this one right okay avoid the duplication right here what is the name gym this one trainer trainer name right trainer this is a table name trainer name from which table trainer table right. the name is uh, uh, this one the same you just copy this one copy or paste it here right sorry let's go here copy this one or paste it here control V to paste it here right perfect like this one okay. after that what I am going to do is here we have to write uh, result set of data result set rs here we have to write rs we have to do it here as import this one so we have to write here is rs equal psc dot execute query right. after that what I am going to see we have to write here is txt this one can be control seed copy and paste here dot remove all items how does you have right here is uh, while loop you have to write a while loop while rs dot next so we have right here is uh, txt this text box print control seed copy control trainer trainer dot add item rs dot get string here we have to write the specify the name right that's the thing we have to write okay perfect right this function will load control seed copy here we have to control uh, render control to paste here now first for time when we have run and add the here we have towards the error is here the error is here this one these are the errors so we have to this all the stuff here i'm going to 
uh, we have to comment it later on we have to because this cop uh, this code i am copy from the this one trainer right so that we have to copy this so that we have to arrange them later on let's check whether it's working fine or not uh, now first we have to add the trainer first Add trainer. I'm going to add the trainer here also. Uh, Peter, see, address India, mobile number. Chat. Chat. Okay, so add another one as Raja, age five, India, mobile number, something like that. Same date. Click add button. Right. Now the, we have two members, right? So we have to cancel it. I go to the member table. Member, I didn't give the link here, right? So here we made the link so that so go back to our main dot Java. Select this member. Here we have to event action, action, action perform. Here we have to write the page name here. Uh, same thing here, right? Here same thing here. Co control C to copy, control V to paste here. This one should be member. should be member so we can also copy control with paste here right admin 123 member right okay now here this it is loaded here this members delete uh, loaded successfully here it's loaded successfully now here what i'm going to do is here uh, we have select this member.java page here select this one properties port generate center that way like this okay. now let's go to the source you have write the remaining stuff right insert into which table you are going to insert the record member table so you have a member what are the columns available you have to specify here member specify here so you have write First one, you'll get it the screen like this. It's simple, you have to write like this. First name, sorry, first name. Second one is the last name. DOB, mobile, gender, address. What is comma? This one, comma amount, comma date, comma trainer. Trainer. Right. This is the thing we have to add. Perfect. How many question mark? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Already we have 5 here. So, can proceed to copy this 5 comma we paste it here so 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right there okay now here what i'm going to do is here the right first one should be there this one first name cut off copy control with basic first one this one second one should be this one l name control seed copy control with basic here third one should be we have right here is a uh this one dob data of birth control seed copy Control V to paste here. Third one should be mobile. Control C to copy. Uh, uh, fourth one should be right. After that, gender. This one should be the gender. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Gender we have to add that. After that, same thing. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. The sixth one should be uh, after the gender address. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. After that, sub. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Yes. The seventh one. After that, same thing. You have to copy this one. Control C, copy, control V, paste here. The eighth one should be uh, after sub amount. Control C, copy, control V, paste here. Right. Or oh, right. After that, we need another two stuff. Control C, copy, control V, paste here. This one should be nine. This one should be start date. Control C, copy, control V, paste here. Final one should be there. 10 should be this one trainer control c copy control video these are the fields we have to set correctly 
in order to add the records right finally p pst dot execute update we have to call it the code is added into the database right so we have to write like this this very simple one we have to make it as like this right here uh, we have to get the message as uh, member added member added After add the member, we have to clear this stuff. So we have to clear, right? So we have to first we have to we have to remove this one. We have to first we have to check whether it's working fine or not, right? So all the stuff are right. Let's check. Okay. Let's run the project and check. Admin one two three here member. First we have to change this one should be Kumar. As a member, last name Kumar, Kumar, Ravi. Date of birth, today date. Mobile number, we have to write something like that. Gender male, address India, we have to give a monthly. Amount should be 300. Start date, today date, we have to put it. We have date of birth, we have to change this one as a. Uh, we have to change this one. Like 90. Thing. click add button member added okay. member added click ok now let's check whether it's working fine or not browse it's working perfect it's working perfect right i hope you guys you understood the things well uh, in my next tutorial i'll be teach how to uh, load the records and view the records into the j table uh, thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching